Most gracious Heavenly Father, we give thanks because you one more day aired in our life, Father God. Thank you for this wonderful day. We come before you in the name of our all name, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father. Thank you for your protection and guidance last complete week in our life, Father God. Every area in our life, you protect and guide. Thank you each and everything 
you turn in in our life father god right now father god we come before you and submit your mighty hands in our life father god father god each and every one we bring before you attend this service father god you take under control each and every one and today father god give a special anointing in our life father god through this service father god you touch our heart and mind today especially you teach us and bless us father right now father god and the service we submit to your mighty hands the beginning to very end your holy spirit rule this place father god especially we submit to music ministry your mighty hands also we pray for the word your servant all you anoint your servant father god give that anointing the proper way he hallelujah deliver his your message mr fast father god and touch each and every one through your word father god and this day we never forget because hallelujah this day is a special in our life because you are hallelujah touchable presence midst of us we want you are touching we want you are hallelujah feel your presence today this hallelujah praise father god we submit all of us all your mighty hand father and hallelujah father god we pray for all things what about we are going to do this place father god we submit your mighty hands everything's through you are mighty in and glorify this place this prayer we ask in jesus precious and wonderful name amen hallelujah amen hallelujah i want to hallelujah hearing your amen say a little uh, raise your voice and say hallelujah hallelujah amen hallelujah i welcome all of you in the uh, precious name of our lord and savior jesus christ and i believe you are all happy and you are all enjoying your life last one week and today you are new freshness in your life is it is amen hallelujah yeah you are all sad you are all feeling not well say something say uh, look your neighbor right and left and give a good smile show your teeth when you came the presence of lord we want enjoy his resurrection hallelujah we are gathered here we want to celebrate his resurrection because his resurrection through you are saved hallelujah hallelujah say hallelujah amen i think this is not hallelujah i think i think that our snack this is before gathering we want arranging hallelujah this planning for better fast <laughs> because we will get more energy hallelujah so we will go to uh, praise and worship before i want to bring your attention one some bed i want to encourage you hallelujah because our god presence is with us hallelujah and all you how many of you believe god presence is here say hallelujah hallelujah i want to uh, bring your attention psalms uh, 63 verse 3 and 4 because your loving kindness is better than life my lips will praise you so i will praise you when i live i will lift up my hands in your name hallelujah is this psalms is writing to david you know that situation when he was in the wilderness of judea because he run away from his son absalom the difficult situation difficult time not only in the uh, difficult time this uh, normal because his enemy his own son his own family against him 
many time we are all going to difficult situations and difficult uh, opportunity always uh, are in our life is but this situation the king david say your loving kindness is better than life hallelujah when you in the presence of god you are get to the one time is a praise and worship him that is more benefit for our life because you know when you praising god always this is my thinking i am always this is my last praise and worship hallelujah when you know this you feel this you give the complete 100% for god you are anyone is guaranteed next week you have get in the chance no one is not there i know very well feel because i am a heart patient <laughs> hallelujah when the heart attack is came last one year before that time i understand i have heart hallelujah but when doctor say you have a heart attack don't worry i say i don't i never worried because i am ready to go with my savior hallelujah then that time before i am say this all time my congregation all time the people this you want to uh, feel this like this is your last worship that after i go into this civical situation then i am standing here i am worship god then i understanding this is my last that is why always i am praising and singing and, singing and dancing i give 100% for god uh, uh two three week before i talk with one our uh, member church member one believer brother with outside the after our morning service uh, this is very tough so i ask him why you feel that brother is a complaining two complaint is giving first complaint is giving about pastors pastors don't misunderstanding me this is not my complaint <laughs> one brother is told me what he told really pastor you are all when you are standing the pulpit you are all 100% you are shouting you are giving a say oh praise the lord praise the lord then after when you next week you are standing in the <laughs> ground you are all very quiet and very silent is it is correct pastors i don't believe anyone you believe our pastors is all yes today we are checking that we are only first time we are standing the only pastor says shout and hallelujah then you are understand in our pastors how much strong and how much <laughs> strong in our god hallelujah this is a complaint then uh, i feel uh, this person is told always we are standing in the pulpit we are say shout and say hallelujah we are encouraging the people but sometimes many times many times we did not able to do that and i request all of you what about your situation where you are or when you get the chance praise and worship the almighty god give a 100% give a 100% hallelujah give your 100% because this is our last chance you understanding you know this you hallelujah always think this like uh, ne, na, uh, next time we did not get a chance uh, hallelujah worship our living god hallelujah are you ready to worship are you ready to praise and worship the lord say hallelujah big, give a big clap over him for god hallelujah god presence is here hallelujah hallelujah if, come on stand your feet and hands Shake your hands, your neighbor, and say, "God's presence is here." 
we are going to praise and worship the lord mighty god hallelujah again shout and say hallelujah hallelujah amen come on church let us enter with thanksgiving come into his court with praise let us give him the hundred percent praise this morning Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Come into his court with praise. Enter his presence. And enter his presence rejoicing. Singing great and mighty in his name. Come on, praise him. And praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the tremble and heart. Let every creature in heaven and earth let the sound. Praises to the King. Great and mighty are you, Lord our God. Great and mighty are you. Let's sing so great and mighty. 
great and mighty are you, Lord of God. He is great and mighty. Great and mighty are you. Great and mighty are you, Lord of God. Great and mighty are you. Come on, lift up your banners. Lift up the banners, let the anthem swing. Praises to the King. Great and mighty are you, Lord of God. this wonderful opportunity hallelujah yes hallelujah thank you jesus thank you thank you our presence hallelujah we need to again and again praise you lord this is our heart this is our declaration lord we need to again and again hallelujah praise you hallelujah because you are almighty god you are the wonderful savior hallelujah you are the provider you are the healer 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are our provider. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your touching. Thank you for your healing. Thank you for your providing. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you for your cleansing us. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Please remain standing. Uh, this month, our prayer focus in the United Kingdom. I call upon Brother Kevin. Please come forward and lead us in prayer. Hallelujah. Let's lift our hearts and our minds, unite ourselves, unite our spirits. This morning, we will lift up the nation of UK before our great God, our mighty God, who is able to deliver, save, who is able to heal. Father, we lift up this nation, this United Kingdom, O oh Father, from the north to the south, to the east and the west. We proclaim your salvation upon that land, O oh God. A land that started with your godly principles, Father, but have lost their way. We pray, O oh Father, that your salvation will be their portion. Each and every native, each and every man, each and every woman living in that land, O oh Father. We pray, Lord, that you would open their eyes of understanding that they would choose to put their human wisdom aside and choose to believe, O oh Father, your word. Cho choose to believe your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, for his, it is foolishness to the world, Lord, but it is wisdom, O oh Father, to those who see. And we pray that you would open their eyes, remove the blindness that the world brings, O oh Father, and let them see, Lord, your pure love. We just pray for every child, even every youth, O oh Father. I pray, Lord, that as they are growing into adults, that you will direct their paths and bring them closer to you, O oh Father. We pray for the church in that land, O oh God. We lift up um, every leader that you have anointed and you have chosen in that land to be our representative, O oh Father. We pray, O oh Lord, that you would empower them with your spirit and with your wisdom to lead their land back to you, O oh Father. We pray, Lord, that as your name is lifted up in every church and every pulpit, that you would draw your people unto you. We pray against every confusion that the enemy brings against this land in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray against wokeness. We pray against everything that is trying to destroy the family unit that you have uh, ordained, O oh Father. We pray, O oh Lord Jesus, that your wisdom will prevail, O oh Father. We lift up every leader. We lift up the prime minister, every decision maker in that land. And Father, your word says that you turn the hearts of the king, O oh Father. And you, you can turn the heart of the king, or oh Father, whichever way you want. And we pray for every decision maker and leader in that land. We pray, O oh Lord, that you would turn their hearts to you, O oh God. Help them make decisions that are based on your word, O oh Father. We pray for a revival of your word in that land, O oh God. We pray especially for the schools, O oh Father, those who are deciding the curriculum. We pray, O oh Father, that they would be brought back to your, to your word, O oh Father, and that they would continue to, to develop curriculum that would encourage your word in the, in the schools, O oh Father. We just pray, O oh Father, that you would brood over that land, that your Holy Spirit would reach out and begin to continue to work in a mighty and powerful way. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Brother. Please shall be taken from your seats. Now the time is a weekly announcement. I call upon Pastor Philip Cherian, our General Secretary, to come and give the weekly announcement.
A warm welcome to all those who are seated in this sanctuary and watching us online. Can you put our hands and say, thank you, Lord. We are halfway through the month of September. We have noticed the choir has uh, put the song uh, a second time the same month. Again and again. I think you were not so thankful. I think they have uh, put the second time, uh, said that again and again. So we'll repeat that song unless we see really a thankful heart and a smiling face. Amen. How many of you can agree with me, with me for that? We should have a thankful heart, a joyful. Joy of the Lord is our strength. Amen. Amen. Those who wait upon the Lord will faint. Is that the word? Will do what? Will renew their? And you will run and not faint. You will walk and not grow weary. And he says, he will give you wings like that of an eagle to mount and soar above every challenges that come your way. Amen. Can we put our hands together and give the Lord a praise? <laughs> Amen. Thank you so much. Once again, a warm welcome to all those who are seated in this sanctuary and watching us online. We are midway through September. A few more days or months to go before we come to the close. So renew your heart and your mind and always align your thoughts to the word of God and to the presence of God. Uh, quickly to the announcements, uh, plans of marriage, the second time this is being read uh, from Hindi cell. Sonia, daughter of Rashpal Chand and Raifan Mashi, son of Sula, Sulamat Mashi. Uh, they are getting married on 23rd September in this church. If any of you know any cause or just impediment why these couples should not be joined in holy matrimony, please put that in writing to the church, church secretary before 21st. We have a guest pastor with us, uh, uh, Pastor Katie Joseph. Uh, please stand up, uh, Pastor. Thank you so much. Uh, He's uh, from Madhya Pradesh. He is the leader of the Global Prayer Warriors, uh, and he's from Madhya Pradesh, India. And he will be with the Hindi cell for two weeks, uh, attending their meeting and their special meetings. And uh, uh, we pray that, Pastor, that uh, God has brought you into this island and to this church and to the Hindi cell, and that that be a blessing. And whatever the Lord has ordained to do, let it be done through you in this church, and let that benefit all those who attend your service. Amen. Anybody fellowshipping with us for the very first time? Anybody fellowshipping? Please rise to your feet. Yeah, please stand up. We would like to pray with you. Yeah. Let us give a hand. Oh, thank you, sister. Thank you, brother. Oh. Lord, Lord is adding more people to the church. Let us give one more clap, a round of clap. So, thank you. Remain standing. We'll pray for you. Anybody celebrating their birthdays and wedding anniversaries? Anybody celebrating their birthdays and wedding? It's Ronnie. Anybody else? Thank you, Lord. Let's close our eyes in prayer. The Bible says, delight yourself in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. Not to dis dis uh, delight ourselves in the worldly realm, but delighting ourselves in the Lord. Then the Lord will speak you to you and he will direct your paths. This morning, thank you for these precious souls that came into this church for the very first time. Father, nobody comes accidentally to your presence. Unless I draw them close, nobody comes to me, the word of God says. And we are with a thankful heart, with a grateful heart, thank you for bringing these precious souls to, into your church, into your kingdom. As they attend and, Father, go through this service, I pray, Lord Jesus, that your presence will touch them. The word will edify them, correct them, lead them, and guide them. Father, for the, whatever purpose they have been positioned in the land of Bahrain, let that be fulfilled in the name of Jesus. Father, let them not look at the surroundings, but look at your face, that face which will always make us radiant, not ashamed, Father. This morning, thank you for the people who are celebrating their birthdays and wedding anniversaries. Father, every day 
is a gift from above. The Bible says every good and perfect gift comes from above. And with the thankful heart, with the grateful heart, we say thank you as we sang, Father. Again and again, we are saying thank you because it is the blessings of the Lord that makes us walk forward and, Father, makes us rich, Father. I pray, Lord Jesus, that a new year be a blessing. They will walk in the mighty power and authority of the Lord, knowing that, Father, who is holding their hand? Their married life, their individual life, be a blessing for your kingdom. This morning, as a church, we bless these, your precious people. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, let their life be a mighty blessing. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. You may be seated. Uh, Sister's prayer on Wednesday at 10 online. Uh, please join and intercede for various matters that concern the church. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor. Now the time of giving. What you want to offer to God, take your hands and bless. I request Pastor Valerian, please come and lead us. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for this one more Friday. We can come into your presence, Lord, and glorify your name in this place. Father, we thank you for this another opportunity, Father. Lord, thank you for the, all the blessings. Lord, as you offer, Lord, unto you ourselves, Lord, this, is, this offering, I pray, Father God, Lord, let it be used for exchange of our kingdom, Lord. Lord, I pray, Father God, every hand those who are going to just now put in this bag. Lord, I pray, Father God, bless them, even those who could not this time. Lord, help them, whatever the situation they are going through, Father. Lord, I pray, Father God, bless their every hand, bless their jobs. Lord, those who are finding difficulties in the financial areas, Lord, open the windows of heaven. Lord, they can experience your presence, Lord. That, Lord, you are the provider. Jehovah Jireh, Lord, we thank you, Father God. Lord, we thank you, Father God, those who are doing businesses. Lord, I pray, Father God, let them prosper in your name, Lord. Lord, Father, we thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father God. Lord, we give you all glory and honor to your name. Lord, thank you for answering your prayer, Lord. In Christ Jesus' name I pray. Amen.
Job chapter 11, verse 13 to 15. Bible says, If you prepare your heart and stretch out your hands toward him, putting iniquity far away, if it is in your hand, and not telling wickedness dulling your tongue, then you would be able to lift up your face without spot, Yes, you would be satisfied and not fear. This word is uh, actually it's not suitable for job. So far, his friend is talk about this word. And Bible write it down. I think God, how the job is a very blameless person. A righteous person. But this person talk about uh, job. If you prepare your heart and stretch out your hand to where God. Putting iniquity far away. He won't know any iniquity. No any mistake. It's a perfect person. Then why God's word putting this because God wants talk with us God using many way now the we need to apply this in our life when you come to the presence of God and we need to humble ourselves we have many mistakes in our life and when we are stand presence of God, we remember the all things. Examine ourselves. And also, you know, uh, Matthew uh, told this, when you bring your offering in front of altar, you remember anything against in your brother and heart. Leave your offer in the front of altar and go back and your great relation make a poor and pure relation between your hallelujah brother. This is a quality of worship. This person, that is why he's told Job anything in your tent. Leave that. Today we are the temple of living God. Anything in our life, inside in our life, no one can judge you. Only God's know whatever your heart. And when you stand before God and worship the Lord, you want a pure heart. My beloved brothers and sisters, Confirm this. We stand persons of God before. Purify your heart and mind. Anything against your brother. Anything against your wife. Anything against your husband. Anything against your neighbor. Anything against your children. Anything against your relatives. Even anything against your enemy. Remove that. 
forgive that and ask lord forgive me i want to stand before you i want to worship you this heart please my beloved stand your feet we are going to worship thank you jesus
We surrender. We submit your mighty hands. presence is here. This Holy Spirit ruling over individual life. Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Talk us, Lord. Your mighty name glorify this place. Your people. Yourself. Completely surrender you. Thank you, Lord. Lord, your presence. We're going to pray for that. Uh, we hearing the word of God, and also we pray for that person who uh, plan their heart is planning and remaining. Hallelujah! Going to her diverse, and also want to pray for the. Person is hallelujah, suicide, hallelujah, spirit ruling his life. The right now, we pray for this every kind of demonic power, rule against always the God's word. The persons in this place, otherwise, your heart. You are hearing this. You want to submit from God's mighty hands. Please come forward. Because 
the things things of the suicide thought is not come from god anyone is here and also anyone is family problem they are facing that person is here submit yourself god is built family satan always try to disturb and destroy the family come on let us pray most gracious heavenly father we come before you father god one more time we submit to your mighty hand this is your church this is your people father god father god this church without your planning nothing will happen in our life father god you always keep your people you always protect your people father god anyone have this kind of thinking their life we cast out that all thoughts and things in the name of jesus christ of nazareth father god build the family build the life hallelujah nothing is impossible for you father you are almighty god we submit every family belong to church of philadelphia your mighty hand father hallelujah you hallelujah build every family father god you take under control lord also i pray for each and every individual person your mighty hands father you touch father how anyone is going difficult situation lord you are the provider take care protect them you are mighty and glorify through their life father god thank you lord also father god we going to hearing your word pray for your servant father god submit your mighty hand father anoint your servant father god and also we submit each and every one your mighty hand father hallelujah give a receiving heart in our life father god what about uh, hallelujah deliver this pulpit father god hallelujah your servant too we give give that hallelujah receiving heart in our life we will receive the word and obey the word and live always through that word father god this prayer we ask in jesus precious and wonderful name amen amen hallelujah please visit uh, hallelujah now we're going to uh, hear in the word of god and before i uh, call upon uh, we we have a scripture reading neha kristina please come uh, take the reading from gospel of john chapter 4 7 to 15 praise the lord today's uh, today's scripture reading is taken from gospel the gospel of according to john chap- chapter 4 verse 7 to 15 a samaritan woman came to the well to get some water jesus said to her please give me a drink this happened while jesus followers are, were in the town buying some food The woman said, "I am surprised that you ask me for a drink. You are a Jew and I am a Samaritan. Jews are not friends with Samaritans." Jesus said, "You do not know what God gives and you don't know who asks you for a drink. If you know, you would have asked me and I would have given you living water." The woman said, "Sir, where will where will you get the living water?" The, the the well is very deep and you have nothing to get water with you and you and you are greater than the uh, are you greater than jacob our father jacob is the one who gives us this well he drank from it himself also his his son and flock drank from this well jesus answered every person who drinks this well this water will be thir- will be thirsty again but whoever drinks the water the uh, water i give will never be thirsty again 
the water i will give the water i give will become a spring of water flowing inside him it will give him eternal life the woman said to him sir sir give me this water then i will never be thirsty again and i will not have to come back here to get more water let the lord add blessing to his reading of his word thank you neha put hands together and welcome our senior pastor praise the lord hallelujah i greet you all in the precious name of our lord and savior jesus christ let us thank god we are alive lord has given us one more opportunity to come together as we are sitting in the presence of god let the holy spirit deal with each and every one of us more than anything god has to please in us that is a important thing hallelujah that is a important thing god has to please in each and every one of us that gives that only gives a satisfaction in our life today's message for you are you satisfied with the holy spirit which you received we believe as a church as a family as an individual we believe in the holy spirit the work of the holy spirit only we are here lifting hands and praising song maybe you are praising in tongues in every situation are you satisfied you can face are you experiencing the presence of god God is telling I will be always with us. Hallelujah. We want to please God. Let us have that attitude in everyone. We want to please God. See, look at that hallelujah. Israel. Hallelujah. When Paul writing to hallelujah, uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 10 comes, they, he is telling they all come out of Egypt. Moses led them. They all crossed that sea. They come out of Egypt. That is the salvation we received. The, re- the, the, the crossing of the sea, Red Sea, that is, our, that is our baptism. They all under the fire, clouds of fire. that is our protection our hallelujah what do we receive from god that is hallelujah filling of the holy spirit then says but god is not pleasing in them what the rest of the words when we read their life was not satisfied to god dear brothers and sisters including me we will not be deceived we have to be hallelujah the people who are pleasing god pleasing god in all our areas all our hallelujah days and hours in secret life in alone That is the most important thing. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That will bring a result. Hallelujah. I heard a testimony. Somebody was telling them that olden time in India, the one foreigner was traveling on a train. As a ticket examiner, he came, he saw this man was sitting near the toilet, putting a sheet and sitting there. Then the examiner shouted at him, you cannot travel like this. You have to get the ticket booked and otherwise no. Then this foreigner take the ticket and show him. He had a first class reservation. Some, somebody else was occupied that seat. This examiner asked him, why you didn't get that holy seat? Why forcefully? This is your seat. What is his answer? I am a Christian. I won't do that. What happened later? This Hindu examiner convert, he become Christian. Hallelujah. No sharing of gospel. No forcing to come into the church. All what we do, fasting, prayer, meditation, hallelujah, worship, Hallelujah. Whatever we do, we do for pleasing God. Whatever comes to our life in between to reaching to there, that all, that all, that all to transform us to the image of Christ. That is what the Bible says and Bible teach. Those who love God, whatever happening in his life, that is for his turn to his good. The hardship, the enmity, the problem, that fighting, war, whatever it is happening, that will help us to humble more and more. Is it not happened in your life? Yes, I know. I personally know some of you are a little turned. How it happened? This is what God do. Romans chapter 28 is not standing alone. This combined with the 29th verse. Hallelujah. When God unites something, don't separate it. Hallelujah. These two words are you, God unite something. God will turn it to form everything what is happening to make the form of Christ, the character of Christ. That is the important thing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We have to be come out of the fear today. Hallelujah. You heard the hallelujah. What spirit was speaking to you? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are going through hallelujah. This uh, in, on the coming days and years. Don't be hallelujah. Soft. Maybe hard. But what we believe, God is with us. Hallelujah. This is not that hallelujah. God will Allah, remove the hallelujah problem. The, what is happening in the hallelujah world, hallelujah, that, that will run. Hallelujah. 
what we have, God do in our eyes, that is a grace God will bring to us. That is the grace, more of grace from him, we can receive it. That will alia, alia, give us hallelujah. Something to come out of alia. I think where I said hallelujah. I heard a story earlier that one man is trying to cross the river. The big stone is Christ. He cannot move. He cannot reach the other place. What to do? Rock. He prayed to God. He prayed to God in faith. Water start to rise over the rock, over the rock, over the rock. Hallelujah. His body is going over that rock. Hallelujah. He reach. Hallelujah. You understand how we face the problem. Hallelujah. When we humble down, the grace is more. The grace is more in our life and we will succeed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you take it today, hallelujah. That is hallelujah. The victory in our life. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Which portion we read? Hallelujah. Eh? John chapter 4. It is a hallelujah. Very, everybody knows. Even uh, non-believers. Eh? Knows this portion about Hallelujah. Eh? <laughs> Samaritan woman, Hallelujah. We, everybody like to preach Hallelujah. This life and all these things. Uh, I don't want to preach. One thing I want to mention: you, when you read, you understand. You can understand. She was not satisfied with his family life. She was not satisfied. In his personal life. Nothing giving her satisfaction. She's coming to throw water from the well where Jesus sitting nearby. You heard. Jesus has, has a conversation. Hallelujah. In that conversation, Jesus is telling, if you throw from this well, you will thirst again. You will not be satisfied. She believed. That is true. That is true. Are you hearing today? If you are trying to draw more of wealth, you will never be satisfied. You will be spending time have more than more of in your life to make you healthy, you will never be healthy. One day you will get sick. <laughs> Doctors are sitting here. Ask them. <laughs> Hallelujah. You are after a position that will not be forever. One thing is forever near to Jesus. Hallelujah. What is the best thing we can hallelujah? We can hope and we can hallelujah. Thirst and we can hallelujah. Try and we can hallelujah. And run for that is near to Jesus. Hallelujah. Near to Jesus. Nothing, everything in this world will try up one day. That is what Jesus is teaching here. What I find in here, 
She was a hardly a lady who lived in a, in a, in a, not in a proper way. But I found in her to accept Jesus as a Savior and Lord. Lord, she said, what you are telling is correct. I am not going to argue with you. Hallelujah. When Jesus said, you have five husbands. She didn't tell her, this is not my problem. This is not hardly anything about me. This is all because she, she didn't bring all the problem, all the all things, what they, uh, that they, 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 their husbands, previous husbands. Do. She was surrendered. That is why I was asked, did you think about that? Why Jesus didn't rebuke her? Jesus said anything she, he thought about. She all of a sudden she turned the subject to worship. Jesus is willing to talk to her. Surprising. Here I am great man. Coming in the night with very hardship, with a big effort, the man coming to see Jesus and he's praising and hallelujah. He want to hallelujah, hallelujah, lift hallelujah him up, Jesus. And Nicodemus in chapter 3, the previous chapter. He's telling, you have to be born again. You have to change your life. You have to come hallelujah to the holy fountain. You have to think. Taste the Holy Spirit. Without that, hallelujah. The church who had got the Holy Spirit, our three levels, I want to bring it to your attention earlier. Song of Song, cha chapter 4, verse 15. Song of Song. You, you all know Song of Song. How many messages you heard from the Song of Song? Hallelujah. Eh? Nobody likes to hallelujah. preach from the Song of Song. Hallelujah. Uh, it, is not, it is not good to even read in the hallelujah, family hallelujah, with the children and all but we will see. In the good sense, if you read it, it will be helpful to each and everyone. Even our grown-up children. Hallelujah. Uh, hallelujah. This shows the bride of Christ. The shadow of the bride of Christ. Explaining the beauty. Hallelujah. Here comes hallelujah. 15th words, hallelujah. Here three things we can see, hallelujah. Three words, hallelujah. What is that, hallelujah? I want to bring your attention. Thou art a fountain of gardens, a well of living waters, and the flowing streams from love, Lebanon. Three things. F what is the first thing? Eh? Fountain. You are the fountain. Fountain, uh, if I say that beginning, where the water comes, when some says about how are the God, uh, Psalms eighty-seven verse seven, you are my whole springs. Uh, what is that? Uh, they that sing as well as they that dance shall say, all my fountains are in thee. 
the singers and dancers what they are telling our dancing behind that all is the fountain we met or that from the fountain we taste otherwise in other words the glass of water glass of water the first things happening in our life the fountain the songs we sang here anywhere you found fountain anywhere you found fountain sing says singers hallelujah anywhere you found the first song can you put forth song from the east and west and north and south and all come to the fountain to drink sang or not yes okay hallelujah Halle- praise god hallelujah we sang from jesus we taste jesus hallelujah that is a beginning hallelujah that is a love first level when the holy spirit from we know we know what is that one day the one boy uh, one boy was standing all in the, in the roadside and hallelujah he is he is shaking hands and like that doing it hallelujah and one one fellow was uh, going <coughs> and he clapped this boy and asked what you are doing the boy said i am flying i am flying kite i am flying kite eh you are flying there is a fight there is a, there he cannot see he cannot see what is it he said where is that i cannot see anything yeah you cannot see but i know i am holding a thread very thin i know i know when i pull i know it is there you understand something in our life if we met jesus i'm telling you if we met jesus in our life we know we know the change somebody is holding something is there some control is there hallelujah hallelujah are you under the control why there is not satisfaction you are not tasted if anybody is sitting here you are not sure there is control in my life that is the work of the holy spirit the fountain that is what jesus is telling to nicodemus in chapter 5 verse thir- uh, chapter 3 verse 5 jesus answered verily verily amen amen surely surely i say unto you except one be born of water the born of water halia halia water is the holy spirit water and the spirit halia i mentioned halia word is the water it mentioned about word somebody trans- may say halia that is about word what is word the word i spoke to you that is life spirit and life that is chapter 6 verse 63 says the word i spoke to you that is spirit and life hallelujah you understand hallelujah you are not what is the meaning of that nicodemus you are the hallelujah you are the hallelujah teacher you are like a bishop but you are not met you are not taste you are not drink even one glass of the holy spirit hallelujah the 
ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಯು ಪುಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ವಿದೌಟ್ ವಿದೌಟ್ ಮೀಟಿಂಗ್ ಜೀಸಸ್ ಕ್ರೈಸ್ಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಕಮ್ ಟು ಅವರ್ ಲೈಫ್ This is the first thing. Hallelujah. You know, Paul, I, how Paul is describing. I, 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 was, I was thinking about this earlier. Paul is telling, uh, when uh, Paul writes to the uh, Romans chapter 11, there it is, comes some of the things earlier. The, you are grafted with. You are a, you are a earlier, wild olive. you are grafted this coming and joining this is the first thing happening in our life hallelujah this is the work of the holy spirit hallelujah ha ah, if hallo holy spirit is working within us you are joined to hallelujah you know it is i am joined to this as a child said hallelujah i know i am controlling as i know jesus is controlling my life you are uh, but the, uh, uh, thank you hallelujah but if some of the branches were broken off and though being a wild olive was grafted in among them and distress become partakers hallelujah that is the word i like that word partake to partaking the joint that is a partaking is a next one hallelujah that is a deeper thing that is what hallelujah it is happening hallelujah. that the, we saw in hallelujah uh, in in john chapter it is saying that the three level is hallelujah uh, it is explained there that is the first level is we find in hallelujah chapter 3 verse 5 the second is we what we read today here the bible words that is the second that is the hallelujah she is telling this is the world is deep what it means the world the river that the water of well well from where that is deep hallelujah once you start the, the work of the holy spirit in you and me there is a deeper relationship with jesus christ hallelujah that brings you satisfaction she is telling i want that she is telling i want that hallelujah hallelujah how it is well dear brothers and sisters it will not come only to come into the church alone not lifting my heart i am telling you this only openly not only lifting of hands alone there is a submission there is a acknowledgement tell you who you are today you want to go deeper you want to take jesus into, the, into his life when the sixth chapter comes all who experience christ all who experience christ more than 20 uh, likes of people all left what is the reason i say they have no deeper relationship all left because of they have no deeper relationship i am telling you if i don't have a deeper relationship tomorrow the hallelujah the persecution comes maro the problems comes i cannot stand no one no one Hall- out of hallelujah 20 legs tall left tall left why they don't have a deeper relationship they are not ready to face cross the message of cross hallelujah the beginning the blessing of the heartly blessing the holy afterwards the holy the message of the cross comes nobody can stand there this is what i desire and i want to 
I'll pass over this message. You have to endure. Hallelujah. You have to endure. How? The, Holy, the work of the Holy Spirit, second level is going, taking you the deeper level of hallelujah, the, the, the nature of Christ. Making to understand. Hallelujah. To, to pleasing God. When you understand that, you are ready to have a suffer. Hallelujah. In, in, uh, in chapter 6, hallelujah. Chapter 6, I think so, 38, when questions coming to Jesus Christ, hallelujah, people are asking, why Jesus came to this world? Eh? Sunday school teachers, why Jesus came to this world? Hmm? What is our answer? Eh? Hallelujah. <laughs> I, I came, uh, thank you, hallelujah, uh, for I came down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of him that sent me. Why Jesus came? This is the correct answer. Jesus came to forgive our sin, that is a 24 or 40% mark. Hallelujah. Answer. Hallelujah. It's a correct answer. When you come, hallelujah. I came, hallelujah. Jesus is declaring. I came not for anything else. I came. To, when the will of God comes and break, that is what happened in Garden of Gethsemane. Hallelujah. What is the prayer in Gethsemane? Jesus Christ. What was the prayer? Eh? Remove this from me. I cannot. As a hundred percent human being, Jesus cannot. Then look up and, and the will of God is coming. So, not my will. It's break. The sword come and hit there. That break is will. Then the grace come upon him to suffer. Then from his heart he said, not my will. Forgive my prayer. Let your will be done. Hallelujah. This is the deeper relationship. This Holy Spirit is doing. Not only clapping, helping to clap. Not only hallelujah making sound. This is what hallelujah, three level. Joining with Christ, tasting Christ, hallelujah. Second thing, partaking, partaking, hallelujah. This, uh, in Paul's verse, hallelujah. Not only grafting, but hallelujah. This sub comes from the root to this branch. When the hallelujah, true wine's root, the sub comes and give and help the wild olive. You understand? Slowly, slowly, wildness. Wildness. Can you say wildness? Wildness in my life and not at all good. And not at all good. Did you see a trangard going here? I am best than that. Do you hear about uh, adulterer? I am best than that. Only thing, grafted. And slowly, the saw was coming, coming through the stem and passing to the branch. 
start changing. Changing the habit. That is a deeper thing is happening. That is true. Nobody can see in that olive. When somebody looking out, no. Nothing. One day, one day, the third level, that is fruits, start to come. Not wild olive fruit. While you, wildlife of oh, hallelujah, give fruits. That is enmity, jealousy, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Going after money and going after girls and all type of things. Hallelujah. hallelujah. While Olive also gave food. This is because rapture. Start to coming south from the root of the true wine. John chapter 7, verse 37, 38. In the last day, that the great day of the feast. I want to explain so many things, so I have no time. I am going to the third feast. Jesus stood and cried, saying, If any man thirst, if any man thirst, let him come to me and drink. He that believes on me, as scriptures has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Rivers of living water. A cup of water, well of water, rivers of water. Hallelujah. Third level. Cup of water, well of water. A beginning, hallelujah. Starting to the deeper things and producing fruitfulness. Hallelujah. 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 When we stand under a waterfall, always what under the water? Filling of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Deeper of Hallelujah, the well start overflowing. Fountain. Deeper. Well. Well start filled and overflowing. That is the fruitfulness. This is what? This is what? Don't satisfy with two tongues. I want to say one more time. Don't satisfy with two tongues. Overflowing the life of Christ. 39 is there. Ah. Which they are believe on him should receive and the Holy Ghost was yet given because that Jesus was not that glorified. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are telling the resurrection. Pastor was telling. Resurrection. What brings the resurrection? That brings within us when we go deeper that from the inside is start from that is the life of Christ. Hallelujah. When Jeremiah write to the, uh, about uh, Israelites, he's telling about uh, ch chapter 2 verse 13. Two mistakes you did. Is it correct? My people have committed two evil things. Not only mistake, evil things. What are they? 
they have forsaken me, the fountain of living water. They have forsaken me. They are doing everything, but no attachment. Humble before you. We thank you for your service and what you are doing, a great work. Hallelujah. Bringing down the presence of God in our midst. Hallelujah. Thank you for coming and attending and joining with us for prayer. Thank you for our dear pastors and all of us. Hallelujah. Let us. Let us. Let us have that fountain experience within us. The second thing. Uh, found in broken sitting can all know water. The second mistake broken wells broken wells not holding not holding water. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When uh, Judas uh, Jude when the last uh, before the revelation uh, Jude writes in his 12th verse, you are the, oh, what a cloud. Now rain will come. But there is no water. Eh? Is it correct? Uh, Jude chapter, only one chapter, yeah, it is tall. It is uh, clouds in the middle. The clouds, they are without water. Clouds, they are without water. There is not living water, living water. There is no life. Hallelujah. You all call to experience the life of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You should not miss it. Hallelujah. Jeremiah 17, Hallelujah 13, what did you say? Jeremiah 17, 13. Hallelujah. Uh, these are the spots of your feast. Eh? 17, 13. Uh, o Lord, hope of Israel, all that forsaken you shall be ashamed. All that, listen carefully. They that depart from me shall be written in the earth because they shall forsaken the Lord, the fountain of the living water. The fountain experience, the deeper well experience. Rivers of water experience. That is what Jesus called for us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you say hallelujah to the Lord? Hallelujah. John the Apostle in Pasmos. Last God is showing. The last chapter, 22 verse 1. And he showed to me a pure river of water of life. Did we see that? The pure river of water. Don't miss it. Don't be deceived. There is a pure river of water, of life. That is Jesus Christ who promised. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You wait upon me. I will send you. Hallelujah. And chapter 1, how it works. How it works. That is what Jesus is telling in This is the last words before he hallelujah, ascended to heaven. This is the last words. Acts chapter 1, verse 8. What did he say? Hmm. What did he say? You shall receive power after that Holy Ghost is come upon you. That, that, uh, then first what is happening? 
First, what is happening? In that, eh? Holy Spirit come upon you. The meeting of the Holy, Holy Spirit. It's the first level. The, it will take you to the deeper things of God. The power of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Not shouting and saying, oh, yeah, get out from here. Nothing will happen. The wind of hallelujah. When you have hallelujah. And deeper things. From the deeper things, hallelujah. That power will come out. And destroy the evil. No fear. The spirit of fear will not stand. As you heard the today's hallelujah prophecy. No fear will remain in you. Hallelujah. When you attach it to Christ, the problem, hallelujah, you, hallelujah, find out the problem. Detect where it is, hallelujah. That is the more important things. Anywhere, any job. Detecting the things. Hallelujah. Find out that. Receiving the power. Then comes, you will be my witness. Hallelujah. The third level, you go and study. You can find so many places. These three levels of that. Then John Light <laughs> write the uh, gospel and the letter. You can find there three levels. God is light. I am the light of the world. And again telling you are the light of the world. The light comes. That is the beginning. Seeing the light. And receiving the second life. Second level. And third level is. People are seeing. Without a darkness. A person. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is the third level. Hallelujah. This is the work of the Holy Spirit. In the different way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. John is writing, and first chapter, from it's the beginning, 5 to 7, you read, hallelujah, you can find there. Also in hallelujah, the, the, the letter, for first letter, first chapter, hallelujah, 7 to 9, you can find there. This time is over. Hallelujah. I don't have time. First in. God asks you want us to experience this. Don't miss it. No one miss it. No one miss it. Only thing, look at that. Samaritan one. This is not out of your holiness. This is not out of your ability. This is not out of your education. This is not out of your Bible knowledge. This is not out of anything you do, your worship or anything. This is out of all your desire to come and submit yourself to the Lord. And believing, hallelujah, is everything for me. Hallelujah. It's the pure, hallelujah, water. It's the life of water. Hallelujah. Drink from him. Whoever thirst, only one thing, whoever thirst, Hallelujah. Do we have a desire? Yes. I am not telling there is a problem. There is a challenge. In life, so many things we are facing. Are we, are we desire to experience this? It is from your heart. Some of you received Song of Solomon. Chapter 4, verse 15 says, My beloved is the fountain. Is the well. Is she a river of life. With that, you and me. I want. How many of you stand with a great desire? I call upon you to stand in the presence of God. 
to deserve this. Deserve this. If you're willing, shall we close in prayer? Let's close in prayer. Meditate on what we have heard. A closer walk, a closer relationship. That fountain which will never dry out. That fountain which will never run out. Father, this morning thank you for helping us to hear the word, Father. That Samaritan woman had many things to speak to Jesus. But when she knew that that was the fountain where, Father, she could draw everything into her life. There was not a word spoken that your sins were forgiven. There was not a word spoken that your past, but everything was cleansed when that beautiful fountain was open. This morning, how many of you can say, Father, this is the fountain I want to draw. The physical vessel I'm coming every time, it dries out. But this is the fountain you can always draw near and always feel refreshed. Can we sing that song? You are my strength. You are my, you are my strength when I am you are my strength where I am weak. You are the treasure that I see. You are my all in all. Seeking you as a precious jewel, not to give up but be a fool. You are my is telling me this thing. Someone here, listen to this very carefully. Elijah walks to Sarafat. The widow there says, I have only a little portion of the oil and the dough. I want to make bread, eat and die. But there is a testimony that the oil and the dough has to say. 
Listen to me very carefully. The Tao and the oil says, if you eat this, you will not die. Death will depart, lack will depart, and Father, the slavery and the bondage will depart. Little did that house know that what they stored up could multiply and finish the lack in them. And so can also bring a blessing to others. This morning, someone is in that same state that the Spirit of God is moving. As the prophecy before, I'm adding on to that. When you trust in the Word of God, which is the Tao, and when you trust in the Spirit of God, you will not lack. Every bondage will disappear. Every father fear of death will disappear. How many of you can say, lift your hands and say amen to that one? That little corner which had the dough and the oil had a testimony to say the house did not know that. This morning, we are here and heard the word of God. That fountain which we ignored, the fountain that could refresh me, the fountain that could bring back life into me, we have ignored. And if you draw from it, you will have life and life in abundance. Thank you, Lord, for this morning. We submit ourselves in your mighty big hand. This morning, Father, the Spirit of God was moving in a mighty way through your precious servant. Father, you made us realize where we need to draw and where we need to trust ourselves, where we need to find, Father, the real sources, Father. Yes. I've, many, I've seen many advertisements saying satisfaction guaranteed, but they never satisfy. But here the word of God is saying, this is the place where satisfaction is guaranteed. Let us put our hands and give the praise unto the Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Father in heaven, we just thank you and praise you. Thank you for one more day and one more worship that we ended. We are in the half day, half, half of this month, Father. As we move forward, help us to draw from this fountain that will never dry, dry, run dry, Father. We bless all of you here. And we pray that, Father, you will always find that this fountain has renewed, helped you, and strengthened you. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Receive the benediction. May the love of the Father, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with each one of us and the children of God say, Amen. Let's go out with the song. I'm gonna give you all the ten, give you all the glory.